Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ercilia Octavia. I want to present my research with title The Effect of Role in Playing Activities with Finger Puppets Made from Recycle as a Media for Independent Intervention for Daily Living Children with Down Syndrome. Content slide include introduction, research methods, result, and discussion, conclusion, and reference. Okay, for the introduction. Children with Down syndrome experience disorder in their neurodevelopment. The cause is a disturbance in the brain or central nervous system due to heredity or problems that occur during fetal development in the womb. Nervous disorder in children with Down syndrome have an impact on children's intellectual, social, vocational achievement and adaptive behavior. As a result, Children with Down syndrome experience delays in independent daily living activities such as maintaining body hygiene, eating, and drinking and dressing. Independence is needed so that children with Down syndrome do not depend on others. One of the media used to intervene in the independence of children daily living is role playing using family figure finger puppets. The finger puppets are made by recycling household waste. Therefore, the purpose of this study was to analyze the effect of finger puppet role playing activities on daily living independence in children with Down syndrome. And then the research method, the study used a pre-experimental research design through a one-group pre-test, post-test design approach. Pre-test was conducted to determine the level of independence of children with Down syndrome before being invited to role-playing using finger puppet, while the post-test was carried out after the children were given treatment with the role of a finger puppet with a family figure. This is done so uh, that the results are accurate because the compare before and are being given treatment. The population studied are children with Down syndrome who are members of Potat Solo Raya Central Java. The sample is 10 children with Down syndrome, boys and girls, aged 5 until 8 years, belonging to the type of trisomy 21, where parents allow their children to be respondent in this study. The sampling used non probably purposive sampling technique. The independent variable is finger puppets and the dependent variable is the independent of fulfilling daily living activities in children with Sandin syndrome. The collected data were analyzed using the field caution rank science rank test. And then this is the result and discussion. The following is a form of finger puppet of a family figure that is used as a role-playing medium in telling stories about the independence that is carried out in everyday life by children with Down syndrome. Okay. The following is data on the development of children with Down syndrome in fulfilling their independence in daily living activities uh, both before and after being treated to role-playing using finger puppet with, with family figure with uh, the theme I can eat, drink, bath, and dress myself. Okay, this is about the distribution of Down syndrome. Okay, this. Distribution of Down syndrome children independence before intervention treatment. Fulfilling the independence of activity daily living of 10 children with Down syndrome. Before being given intervention treatment through finger puppet media, the dominant 60% still receive full assistance. The activities of eating, drinking, bathing, and dressing are still fully assisted by the mother, father, brother, or caregiver. And now 40% of them can do some ADL independence. Some of their daily activities are still assisted, especially when wearing clothes but they are minimal, then it has not been found 0% among the samples of children with Down syndrome aged 5 till 8 years who are members of Potat Solo Raya, Central Java, who are completely independent in eating, drinking, bathing, and dressing themselves without the help of their father, mother, or caregivers.
and then this is the post tense distribution of down syndrome children independence of uh, after intervention treatment the level of adl independence of respond of responding before getting intervention by role playing through the media or family figure finger puppet uh, tends to be classified as less independent after being treated in the form of a role playing intervention with family finger puppet most of the adl independence level of down syndrome have increased and are in good classification the following is the distribution of the level of independence of the respondent after being treated with finger puppet role playing okay uh, initially before being given intervention treatment through finger puppet media the dominant 60% still receive full assistance in eating drinking bathing and rising activities still fully assisted by mother father brother or caregiver after the intervention treatment it becomes zero for full assistance because there were there were no respondent um, who could can who could not eat drink but eat dress themselves at all then for children who are not independent it all at first turn into somewhat independent partially independent even though they only eat or drink themselves but they are still assist by bath or eat and uh, to bath and dress the percentage change before become two percent after being given intervention treatment from the original 40 percent then before being given treatment the respondent had not been found zero percent fully independent but after that there were 60 percent who were able to independently eat drink bath and rest themselves without the help or of their father or mother or uh, caregiver and then this is the statistical test result uh, with field caution signed rank test the level of independence of children with down syndrome after being given treatment in the form of a routine intervention through finger puppet for one month has created this role playing intervention was carried out repeatedly at home uh, with the mother or mother or caregiver with the theme i can eat drink bath and dress myself here's the comparison column this is the comparison column Finger puppet visualization is a visual stimulus that will be processed by iconic memory in order to strengthen uh, the, child, the child's memories of the message. The message becomes an auditory stimulus that will be stored in iconic memory before entering into long-term memory into form mental imaginary uh, for children with Down syndrome. Based on the statistical test of the Ficoson Saint Rank test, it is significant that 0.008 with less than 0.05 which means that there is an effect of rule playing intervention using finger puppets on independence in fulfilling daily activities for children with Down syndrome okay uh, and then this is the conclusion rule playing intervention through finger puppets with family figures made from household based was able to increase the independence of Down syndrome children in daily activities by 80 percent hopefully this research can be an evidence-based practice for therapists nurses and families with children with Down syndrome to practice their independent daily living so they are not completely dependent on others and can be developed uh, by other researchers related to intervention in increasing the independence of children with Down syndrome. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.